Dug out Doug from Whack Bag. What's up? Stop listening to the radio and talk, you idiot. He can't hear us, Opie. I bet. I bet. You bet. Doug. 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 No, he can't hear Doug. us. Doug. He can't hear us. Wow. <laughs> he listen to him. Am I, uh, am I there? Stop listening to the radio. Oh. Okay, I can't hear anything. <laughs> Just let you know. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. I'm listening to myself, right? <laughs> and um, I can't hear a goddamn thing on the phone. God damn, that's what? funny. What right So I'm going to go ahead and go on with the call. <laughs> and see if I can't do this interactively. Because I can pretty much hear that I'm still on. It's no different okay. than talking to somebody so, um, on the moon, Opie. This the reason be a why delay. we might not be getting interviews from A-list celebrities could be because of the fact that, uh, well, a friend of mine was listening to the show when you guys were out in L.A., and uh, he heard uh, the Ed Asner interview, and he said it was... Um... <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening. Okay, I think I've given adequate time for a response. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bit of a chuckle. Uh, Jimmy, I love you. Thanks. You are my postmenopausal, cobweb infested, wow. bird vagina yeah. lips. That is funny. And I think I'm going to punch out now because this is probably excruciatingly horrible. But let me just let you know, I can't hear a fucking thing on the phone. Like last week, I could kind of hear you guys. Today, nothing. Good yeah. air coming back. We understand. You punching out. Thank you, Doug Out Doug. We'll yeah. hear this in a, a few minutes. The beautiful thing about Doug is because we have the 15 second b uh, off the satellite bounce delay. He had to wait 15 seconds to realize that that thing bombed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he had to wait. Bomb. He's sitting there waiting. Did it bomb? Is it going to get a laugh? 14, nothing. 15, cricket. Yeah, nothing. Death. All right, guys, I'm going to punch out at about 7:15. <laughs> I am, you know, stunned. Day by day, I'm just losing my passion to do radio. I just am. You know, I had a conversation I, with... I just am. I had a conversation with Ben uh, over dinner on uh, the other night in L.A., and we were talking about how XM has told us, some of the, the bigwigs over there have said, we shouldn't bitch. We shouldn't bitch. And me and Ben were actually talking over stuff that they have done for us, and, and you know, maybe we shouldn't bitch, because there, there are a lot of things that behind the scenes that they have done for us, and... and uh, that that do work on a daily basis. And me and Ben had actually come to the conclusion that, you know something, we are going to make a concerted effort. I swear to you this conversation happened. A concerted effort not to bitch. To not bitch about things. Whatever happens, let it happen. It'll get fixed. And, and let's just try not to bitch. It didn't last. It, the show didn't even start. It didn't last. Because we couldn't start the show. Look, you know, the past is the past. But I can tell you this much. The last three shows, the last three shows, Yeah. the first one was the first uh, show in L.A., Yeah. where we had to do the first about about a half hour without Jimmy Norton because we only had two microphones. Mm -hmm. How does that happen when you're on location and you're going to have guests stopping by at any given moment? How does that happen where you have to start the show with only two microphones? Yeah. I, it amazes me. Then the next day, you know, we're in a closet doing our show. That's why the second day wasn't that great. But, what, you know, you know these things happen, all right? You can't fault anybody But for the that. second day, that's when I noticed that, uh, you know, this professional booker didn't get us one guest during Oscar week in L.A. while we were broadcasting live. Uh -huh. And then today, we didn't even know we were going to go on the air uh, until about 6.10, 6.15. Yeah. And then we take our first phone call, and they can't hear us. But we're not supposed to bitch. That's only in the last three shows. And please, this is not a new problem. Dude, I don't I mind new problems. New problem comes up, it's like, all right, we got to deal with it. We got to deal with new problems. This phone thing, this fucking phone thing, how many times, how many weeks go by I, I, uh, with this phone problem? We just missed about five uh, good opportunities, five phone calls that we can't take now. Yeah, I saw them. That could have led to some interesting stuff. You know, it's hard enough to, to put this radio show together every day. It's really not easy. Unbelievable. You know what? We get paid no matter what. If, if they want us to just call it in, just tell us. Just tell me. 
And I think, you know, I think they can even get rid of us after the first year. Ah, I'll make enough money the first year with the XM contract. I don't have to work anymore. I don't care. You do? But, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but every, you know, every day, I'm not lying anymore. They, they're they starting to notice in Washington. I don't call them as much. I don't email them as much because I'm slowly but surely losing the passion to do this. Yeah. Because it looks like no one else cares. It's 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 stunning. It stuns me. On a daily basis. These phones, how long? How long do we have to wait for for us to be able to come in here, plunk a phone line down, and actually have the caller hear it? Alexander Graham Bell had a two-way conversation with his phone. What year was that? Like (laughs) 18-something. I've got a hundred-year buffer in there for me. Well, I don't know. Watson, come quick. I need you. Hi, Alexander? Yeah, no, I can't hear you, man. I can't hear shit. Watson, I spilled acid on my hand. Come quickly, I need you. Hello, Alexander? No, I don't have shit on this side. He had he had a phone that worked. Hundreds of years later, a hundred and something years later, we can't get two-way conversation. What's up, Ben? Oh, Jim's calling <laughs> Oh, Jim's calling in. Is he insane? Oh. Jimmy. Hi, guys. How are you? Can you hear me? I can hear nothing. I'm going to look through the window now, and I'm going to lip-read Opie, and that's how we're going to have this conversation. I'm on my cell phone. I called the hotline. Hi, Hi, Jimmy. Can you hear me? Are you really talking? Can you hear me? Over there, not looking. I I can't hear a word they're saying. Can you you hear me? So what we need is... Every listener <laughs> stand in front of the window here I at the studio hear, when they call. All right, guys. Fucking word you're saying. I can't hear all anything. All right, guys. Here's, of course, I'm looking at you and I'm stepping right, all over you. Here, here's, thank you. here's the deal. Here's the deal. The Opie and Anthony show has always been very interactive. We we like to call it the People's Radio Show. Yes. And the only reason we like to call it the People's Radio Show is because deep down we're lazy and we'd rather get all our great material from you guys. Exactly. So if anyone has a, a, a question or something they want to ask us today and they uh-huh. happen to be... They happen to be near 57th Street and 6th Avenue. Uh-huh. Maybe you could come up live and, and ask us uh, personally. So we're taking live calls today, but not on the phone. Right. They're coming in and actually asking yeah, it live. That's how we'll interact with, uh, with the listeners today. If you just happen to be near 57th and 6th and you have something that is pertinent to the radio program, uh-huh. why don't you come on up, You know, wait the 45 minutes it takes to get through security. <laughs> Stick your head into the door and it could just of be, the studio and yell what you want to say. And it could just be two seconds. We could hang up on you live here where we just tell you to leave well, the studio. Well, this is how it's going to work. Because, yeah, we need, the, we need to be able to hang up on you. So if mm-hmm. you're going to open up the studio door that's really heavy. You'll, you'll uh, interact with us like we would do on the phone. Uh-huh. If you really stink, we're just going to slam the door in your face. Right. And, and, then, and that's a hang up and, and that's then you your, leave. And that's your cue to go back outside uh-huh. to the real world. All right? Very good. Unbelievable. And that's the little things, like Anthony sitting at his computer, and we talked about this vent thing that's blowing cold air on him every morning. That is, su- that is, <laughs> I said the item, little thing. item 859 on the list. It's so small that I don't even address it anymore, <laughs> but, but I notice it every time I sit down. But it, that's been brought up many times, too. There is a deep freeze that's blowing down right on my head in the office, and I'm an air, con- I'm an old air conditioning it's, and heating guy. I've gone up there and shut the vent, and everything. but the air is blowing so hard it blows right through the vent uh, being shut. And what what, are, what is the piece called? It's just uh, a diffuser. A diffuser. Uh, the right. Diffuser. Look up at any diffuser. vent in your office, and that grill that's over it is a diffuser. It takes the air that would normally blow straight down on you and freeze you, and diffuses it. It makes it uh, kind of go across the ceiling and gently fall down on the occupants, cooling them off. This is a fire hose of cold air that is blowing down on my head. But I mentioned it when we were in Washington. When was that? When were we last in Washington? A month at least, right? About a month ago. I mentioned it. It was supposed to be taken care of. There's still no diffuser on there. I don't. I'm ready to just take one off. Of, I know how to do it. I mean, I'll go into another office, take it off, and pop it in there. I'll do it right after we're done with the show today. So you need not worry about that. All right. Let me see if the if the phones are working yet. Uh, ben in New Jersey. What's up, Ben? Hello. 
All right. It's Ben in New Jersey. All we need to do, Opie, is wait the 15 seconds, and Ben from New Jersey. He might be a smart caller and has his radio turned down, though. Ben in New Jersey. How are you, Ben? Yes, please, if you're calling the radio show, people, please turn up your radios. Yeah, uh, yeah. today you're going to need to turn up your radio so you'll be able to hear that we're talking <laughs> oh, to you. okay, I just heard myself. Isn't that great? All right. Um, Drew Barrymore, freaking herking and jerking like crazy. I don't even know if I'm on the phone anymore. Um, <laughs> her head was twisting all over the place. But uh, if you want to um, if you want to tell uh, Herky Jerky Boy about it, it's Ben Dutt Sparks. At XMRadio.com. Punch now. <laughs> there you go. Opie, uh, Ben from Jersey was just talking about Drew Barrymore, Herky and Jerking. I remember seeing Scarlett Johansson last night right. during one of her intros. Her arm was like going like uh, Michael J. Fox, mm -hmm. really herking and jerking. And maybe that's who uh, Ben meant. And I would have asked him, did you mean Scarlett Johansson? But he seems to have hung up and... Uh, Boy, in 15, 20 seconds, I would have gotten my answer, but now uh, I don't know. Well, that's another way you could, uh, you know, interact with the program today. Uh -huh. Turn up your radio. Mm -hmm. You'll know you're on the air about 15 seconds after we say hello. You'll right. hear us say hello, and then you should just start talking. At there that you point. go. All right. But we're bitching too much. Yeah. All right. Sure. Sure we are. When do we? I swear to you, man. When do we get to? Uh, that, that when we, do we, we should just not bitch? This is a serious question that I need to. I guess I got to call Bob today. When do we get to, uh, you know, negotiate with other companies? I don't know. Is uh, is that allowed? I don't know. I have no idea. Or are we stuck in this contract? <laughs> stuck. <laughs> I I have no idea. I know they could probably get rid of us after the first year, but could we get rid of them after the first year? No, I think we're in. They could dump us, though. They could dump think, us after I, the first I, year? I think so. so I'm we not could, sure. So if we start just, you know, acting like complete assholes every day, they'll dump us, and then we could go somewhere else. We have been. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's dangerous. Really? Oh, really? Mm. Really, we have. All right, Anthony. <clears throat> we're going to take our first break. Uh-huh. And uh, hopefully we'll get the phones working. If not, you're more than welcome to show up at the studio and ask uh, us uh -huh. stuff personally. Or give us a call if you're far away and just turn. make sure your radio is turned up. So you can hear us talk and then answer us 15 seconds later. Because that's how you do a national talk show. Opie, they do it on mo the moon missions. When they would talk <laughs> to the people on the moon, there's a delay. Because uh, it takes a longer time for the radio waves to get to the moon. So if they could do it from the moon, why should we bitch? We should be able to but do it. But you don't here. know when the other person stopped talking, so shouldn't we be like, hey, Ben from New Jersey, break? Oh, over. Or over? Right. And then Ben would go, hi, Opie and Anthony, did you see the Oscars last yeah. night? Over. K to K12 to K to K1. <laughs> K to K12 to K to K1. Some storm we're having here. All right, shut up, Mr. Torrance. All right, let's <laughs> through with you. And then let's try the Olive phones one more hang. time. One more time. All right. Let's uh, we'll go to Pete here. Let's go to Pete. Pete from Philly. Over. No, he's got to wait because he says on the screen that he's well, he wants I to talk about Voss don't and Chris know if Rock. Calls and dropped, or if I'm on the air. He he says uh, yeah, I don't care. he wants to talk about Voss yeah, and Rock, and he has his radio up, so okay. he'll hear his name in a second. Here. Waiting. Fifteen second waiting. Here we go. Here we go. Listen, listen, listen. Right waiting. About, right about now. Over. Uh, there I am, uh, b boys. I'm here in Fallujah. Uh, there's lots of ground fire. Uh, all right, this is awful. I just wanted to say how you could hear Voss's jokes, just Voss's awful hack of jokes coming through Chris Rock's voice last night. Unbelievable. That, Can't hear you. That is true. Have a um, wonderful day, boys. I was I was yeah. listening to uh, Chris out. Rock yes. uh, doing his monologue, and and if I wasn't sure if it was a Voss joke, I would uh, do it in the Voss voice, laying in bed watching the Oscars, and I, I would just start doing it like that. And you can really tell which hey, ones were his idea. jokes. When we get back from break, because we're going to get into the whole uh, Oscar talk, we mm -hmm. do have Chris Rock's monologue. Yeah. We could try it out. You know, we'll play the Chris Rock audio, and then we'll do the same joke as, as you doing Voss. Uh-huh. Because I'll be honest, I you know, uh, 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 Jimmy and I were not discussing this before the show. I didn't think Chris Rock did, did that great a job last night. 
I didn't, I didn't the think, Oscars it was pretty good. I didn't think he ate it, but I, I was I was expecting a lot more from him. Yeah, I really yeah. I think it was pretty good for for an Oscar uh, host. Why don't we take a break? We'll get into that next. Maybe Vlad okay? could call in. Huh? Maybe Vlad could call in and. Oh well, that's our that only guest. That's our only guest today, uh, Rich Voss, and uh, except, the except the phones don't work. So right. But we should be very happy because at least we're on the air today. Wait, what? We're happy to be here. I yeah, looked. Hey, at, at least you're on the air. I looked at Ant. And no joke, and and if you know, and if this uh, shorts out again, I'm just I'm just getting up and leaving. Right. I, I I can't be bothered anymore. You know, if no, no. one else is going to have passion, like I said, every day a little more of my passion for doing this goes away. Mm. And one day it's just going to be so much lack of passion that I'm just going to say I'm done, done. I'll go do something else. But at, at uh, 6:05 when they said we weren't going on the air, what did I do, Ant? I go, I start packing my bag. I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm going back home. Yep. I, I only got four hours sleep last night, and we traveled all day yesterday. I don't need this crap, you know? Right, right. But it's like, ah, give him a few minutes. I'm like, ah, all right. And then they started that uh, best of bit. Silly me. I just enjoy doing the show, you know? It's something I actually enjoy You're doing. You're enjoying it a lot basis. more than I these days. Cause, and because I, I just, it just amazes me of, of the incompetence around us. And That's I want it say. to work. I want to come in here on a daily basis and put on a fun show and everything like that. And it's just it's getting very difficult to, to do that. Uh, with with th- these issues, and we're not supposed to pitch. I, no, I, I, you know what? I, the past is the past, you know, and they've done a great job. But I'll, I, I'm I I will never let up as far as the the latest stuff. The uh, last three shows, three huge things have happened. That's only the last three shows. Yeah. So, and then I was like, hey, well, they're doing the best they've been. They're gonna try to get us on by six thirty. If if we're not if that bit's mm-hmm. over, we go to commercial. We're still not on. I'm definitely out of here. <laughs> I, I, I could easily go back to bed. No problem. <clears throat> All right, well, well, Ron, love to talk to you, and that sounds like a great topic. That could be at least 20 minutes. And when you do a talk radio show, you you look for little gems like that, Ron. But guess what, Ron? Ooh. We're not going to be able to get to you until the phones are fixed. That is a good call. That's a great call that would add, lead to 20 minutes of great talk radio. But uh-huh. instead, we're going to have to fill that time somehow. And this is what I explained to Washington. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I explained why we bitch. When little gems are taken away, you got to fill that time with something. Yeah. And then you think, hmm, what else is going on? What yes, else? from mm. the booker maybe. Oh, that's right. Well, it's the it's the day after the Oscars. I'm sure maybe she's working on some last minute uh, yeah. guess for us. Mm-hmm. All right, Anthony, we're gonna break. Maybe we'll be back. Hmm. Give it I, a try. I see Ben on the phone in the office. Probably being yelled at because it's all Ben's fault for some reason. He's combing his hair with a with a rake and he's combing his ha- hair with a rake and then he's got a cell phone in the other hand. He's just a mess, pacing back and forth. He looks like Chris Rock doing comedy, but he's on a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to run his hands through his hair, but his hand gets tired before it's halfway over his skull, so he has to mark the spot and give up. <laughs> Continue later. God, with all these choices these days to. Of, of other radio shows to listen to in the morning. Why would you listen to this if we don't have our act together? Why? Why would you sit there and listen to us just bitch every day? I get it. I'm sure all the other uh, talk shows out there are, are uh, talking about the Oscars. They're playing sound clips from the Oscars. They got guests from the Oscars. They got, you know, uh, call-ins from L.A. Yeah. We don't even know if we're going on the air. We'll make the best of it. Your computer's not on. Hmm? Oh, that's that one. No, no. I let me let me say something that did work. They got a new computer for me here, oh, cool. and it works. I can actually scroll with the scroll wheel. There you go. Thank that's, you. That's taken care of. Yeah, that's taken care of. <clears throat> All right. Good to see the boys in the. Uh... In the other room there? Control room. Master control. Derek, Danny, and, and the tall guy. What's his name again? I forgot. Um, you know the other two's names? Yeah, because they work really hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ah. <laughs> I can't do that to those guys. They work their asses off. Nathaniel, of course. All right, why don't we take a break, Anthony, and we'll continue with the uh, Opie and Anthony Bitch Fest. Steve, S-O-S, 